this is my first set to catch some raccoon this weekend to help save the turkeys. It's a dog proof coon trap I got. It's right here beside my salt lick. There's always raccoon tracks in my salt lick. I'll put the bait in it. To, I'm using these marshmallows. They're soaked in. Oh, some funky stuff. That stinky stuff there. But I'll put them in there then. I'll get something tonight. Here's another set alongside this cliff. I got a path up there by the cliff. And got a path right here that splits off of it. So I put the trap right here between them. And I put the marshmallow on top. They get some little eye peel. And got the stinky stuff down in the hole. Boy, stuff stinks. But there'll be one sitting here in the morning. The river's up this morning, running muddy. This gully like this going to the river is a perfect spot to put a trap. A long time ago, a friend of mine showed me how to make this set. It's called a little rock house, he called them. His granddad showed him how to do it. Put your bait in a little rock house like that. And your trap is sitting right there. And he'll come in there being nosy. Reach in there and grab all that marshmallows. I got to this point today and the river cut me off. I can't go down this cliff here. The river done got plumb up next to the bank. There's several coons down through there if I could just get down there and catch them. I guess the river's still rising. It's a beautiful morning out here to be checking traps. The rivers went back down. But it sure made these banks real muddy. I'll check to see if my trap got some traps up here on this cliff line. I'll see if there's anything in it. I was checking this trap beside this spring running to the river. The river got up over it yesterday. I caught one in it. I guess he drowned it when the river got over him. Had it set in the spring right there. But that's one last chicken killer, turkey egg eater that I have to deal with this summer. <laughs>